Hey, hey everybody. Sorry I'm running a little late. Had to, had to take care of the dogs, and unfortunately, sometimes their schedule is different than my schedule. Just a second here. Hope everybody had a good Monday. Get the auxiliary lighting going in here, so hope everybody's doing well. Who all's with us tonight? Who all we got? Got Robert. All right, Robert. Hey, I'm got, I'm hey, what do you know? YouTube's on the ball tonight. That was my phone going off telling me I'm going live. Um, yeah, Robert, I'm glad you showed up, buddy. I noticed that the other day in the live feed that uh, on PTT, you kept asking Brian to show you the difference in the size between a micro scale electrics and like an auto world or something else. And I thought, well, hell, if Brian's not going to do it, I can do it because I've got all three of them right here. So I'll show you a Tyco, an AFX and a micro scale electrics all together on a piece of track and give you an idea of what they look like. Hey, Ryburn. Hey, James. Nope, sorry, I didn't forget. Yeah, it's showtime, yeah. <laughs> sorry. All right, yeah. Um, I had no idea this much stuff was coming in today, so the look what Scott's got is going to take a little bit, apparently. Um, but uh, it's going to be some good stuff here regardless, so I can't wait. Hey, Ryburn, thank you. Hey, U of M, thank you for joining in. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Cliff. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. My people counter has got to be behind because there's more people in the chat than it's showing that's uh, on the screen. So uh, I want to thank everybody for showing up tonight. Like I said, uh, trying to grab some food. Yeah, no, actually, uh, um, I was finishing dinner, Robert, and then uh, um, was watching uh, the opening uh, BS of the uh, No Prep Kings on Discovery Channel. You know, since I'm a drag racer, I like to do that. They're they're uh, in Oklahoma's uh, where they where they're from. The 405 is literally like two and a half hours away from me, so no no biggie there. So, well, hey, we we've, we've already got enough people on there. Hey, Don, thank you for for showing up. Appreciate it, Cliff, U of M, James, Ryburn, Robert. That's all. Adam commented earlier. I haven't seen him back on here. Hope he uh, didn't didn't pass out from dinner. <laughs> Uh, but uh, we got we got uh, uh, enough people on here, so let's go ahead and get started. So obviously we got some uh, unpacking to do tonight. I'm going to start with the one that I hate the worst uh, as far as packing material goes, and that's the uh, the foam uh, packing. So we'll we'll get it out of the way first. But if this is what I think it is, this will probably be no big deal. I, I ordered some uh, scenery stuff for the diorama when somebody gave me a an offer on it. I'd, I've been watching it and then they uh, sent me a deal. I was like, well, hell, you know, for that price, I'll go ahead and buy it now. And that's what it is. So some scenery stuff for the track that I thought I'd be using at this point in time, but uh, that's why it was uh, being watched. But let's just open this bad boy up and see what we got. Well, I know what it is, but there's so many different variants of this stuff out there that I wanted to make sure that uh, I had what I was trying to look for. And if I didn't like it, then I could always, you know, rebuy. So, okay, cool. Well, like I said, I always love it uh, whenever. And uh, just so you guys know, if you're ever looking to try to get uh, stuff for your diorama uh, or ideas, uh, HO scale train people are the best. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, they know how to do scenery like nobody's business. Um, and so that's where I bought these from. These are just like little bushes to stick throughout the the track area, you know, because that's why I said I went with the Woodland Scenics grass. And so I'm going to I'm going to order some other stuff, some shrubs and some flowers and stuff like that. But uh, I was thinking about these little nubs in specific for where those uh, Viper uh, clear uh, guards that I have uh, try to hide those uh, holders for them. It doesn't look like those are going to be thick enough, but that's okay. Like I said, they'll they'll be used in several spots around the track, and for five bucks, you know, you can't go wrong. So cool, something for the something for the track whenever I get to move in and reassemble. And I uh, got good news today that the house I'm looking at is a go for the end of the month, so I'll be able to seamlessly move from here to there, which is awesome. And then I meet with the bank tomorrow 
to uh, get the loan paperwork taken care of. So things are a progressing. So let's get to box number two. Obviously, this is small enough that I'm going to guess it's a car. Which car? I don't know. I have ordered several cars. Like I told everybody, I, um, I'm not independently wealthy. I just don't go out and buy this stuff. The only way I'm able to afford this stuff is when I sell cars that uh, I've uh, bought to invest in, that I've got good deals that I turn and flip. So um, anytime I take that money and that profit, then I turn right around and invested either something for myself or something for the, uh, you know, to sell back, sell back out again and keep my, keep my business going. And uh, that's why uh, down below. And before we get started, I forgot once again, up oh, the dog's trying to hit the tripod. I'll try to get her away from it. Sorry. <laughs> A little mini earthquake there. Uh, before we get started tonight, I uh, want to thank all my subscribers, uh, all seven of you that are here now. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you can always resell. Exactly. Um, and then, uh, uh, so thank everybody that did show up. Thank you everybody that is subscribing. That is, that has already subscribed that uh, we'll be viewing later. Uh, please, if you're not live, don't feel like you're getting left out of the conversation. I've got, I've got the chat recording live. So you'll understand, uh, some, maybe some of the answers that I'm answering in there and then, uh, um, leave a comment below. I answer every single comment. It may take me a day or two, but like I said, because of the situation in my personal life right now, but I do reply because I do appreciate everybody's time that this comes in. Okay. I'm going to have to do something with the dog or she's going to end up knocking over the camera. So there we go. Okay. I gave her the subtle hint. <laughs> um, and so anyway, uh, thank you for being a loyal subscriber and uh, joining in. And I appreciate the, the, uh, you know, the support because obviously, like I said, I've said it many times. I'm going to say it again in case, Somebody's viewing this for the first time. Um, those of us that don't have a thousand subscribers do not get paid to make videos on YouTube. We do it for the, the interaction and to share our knowledge and to show some stuff that hopefully brings other people into the hobby. So uh, we would all uh, ask that you please do the LSS below if you are a first time watcher of my uh, videos. Like I've mentioned, uh, I, uh, this is just uh, consistent as the sun coming up in the east and setting in the west. Over 50% of the people that view my videos are not subscribers. And uh, just in last month alone, I had over 6,000 views on my videos. And uh, for only 352 subscribers, thank you all, um, it would be impossible for you guys to watch my videos that many times. So um, that tells me, and that tells me by based on the YouTube algorithms, that because uh, it shows you uh, how many people are subscribers and how many people aren't. So if you're not subscribed, please try to help out the channel, try to help out anybody else that is making HO slot car content. And I have listed a few of those creators below. Uh, Dan was slot Valley racing. Uh, Steve was stockpile hobbies, uh, Mark slot car garage, um, uh, Buckeye HO drag racing, uh, pro tinker toys is listed down below. Um, I've even got the email address for pro tinkers to send in to, uh, Tim and Ryan, so they can get an idea of where to start their pricing at for the auction this week. So, you know, we got to show support to everybody that supports the hobby and let's get the word out there. And uh, hopefully one of these days, all of us that make these YouTube channels make some money like I've dedicated any, any time. If I ever do reach the point of making money on YouTube, it will be spent on projects that we're going to give away to the people that view it because you guys are the reasons why I would even, even come remotely getting close to getting paid anything. So, I'll, I'll just pay it forward. I'm one of those people. I'm a firm believer in karma. Treat others like you want to be treated. And if you have the opportunity, pay it forward. And then hopefully somewhere down the line, it gets paid back uh, with no expectation. So anyway, uh, please help out the people that are helping out the hobby. And I'll get off my pulpit and we'll get back to the look what Scott's got. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Wow. This guy is, uh, he's, he's way high tech more than me. He's got his own business cards. Hell, I'm doing good just to keep up with my Google page. Well, as many of you know, and if you can't tell already, if you're a first time viewer to the channel, uh, thank you for stopping by and you'll know, uh, you'll soon know that I'm a, a Mustang fan. I drag race one, one to one. And then I do my best to try to collect all the Tyco Mustangs, AFS Mustangs, um, you know, just Mustang, Mustang, Mustangs. But I also collect other cars besides Mustangs. <laughs> it just so happens that uh, um, I'm currently working on trying to get the, uh, what they call the 79 series Mustangs. I'm trying to get all of those with uh, Tyco. 
And here we have a, a harder to find version that I was fortunate enough to get at a decent price. Um, it's just a, a hollow chassis. Uh, that's why it was, that's why the bids didn't go up very high on it. Uh, normally this thing will get uh, 40 to 50 bucks and I got it for like uh, 30, 35, something like that, but I don't care. I've got a chassis, so that's no biggie to me. I was more worried about the tampo and how it looked. And so oh, I heard it clicking. I'm sorry. Not a bad looking car. Got the SVO number one on the side. Like I said, I can clean it up, make it look good and put a running chassis underneath it and it'll look good in the case. So got some scenery for the track and we got our first Scott Keeper case car for the night. And obviously it's a project car, but sometimes, like I said, when you're working on a, a blue collar budget like I am, you have to take sometimes uh, the best of what you can get and then make it to where what you wanted it to be. So, you know, if you can buy it at a lower price, you already have a chassis, then obviously that's the best way to go. So that's the way I did it. Good way to start. Fun fix, yeah. There, sorry. I, I moved her paw away from the, the tripod leg. We'll see how long that lasts. All right, well, this guy's uh, getting a, the other one was packed good, this one was packed good. The little shrubbery stuff, you know, that's, it was packed as well as you'd expect something that to be packed. Um, but this guy even went the extra step and put it uh, in a box and wrapped it in chipping paper and then put it in a little semi-hard plastic case. If you were uh, privy to watching the uh, Auto World uh, current Mustangs, the modern, or uh, Mustangs, modern funny cars, I'm sorry, uh, you've already seen this car. Um, this one's used. This is the, uh, um, I believe, yeah, Courtney Force. Yeah, Courtney Force uh, brand source funny car. Oh, sorry. Here. I'm Try to get the glare off of it. I'm looking at the TV now. And uh, I bought off this vendor before off of eBay. And uh, he offered me a deal on it. And uh, I jumped on it because uh, I knew that I could, uh, A, either put a brand new uh, chassis underneath it and shine it up and clean it and sell it, or just clean it up the way it is and sell it. Because um, it is a runner. It has been ran. Uh, but he did put new shoes on it for me. He told me he was going to do that. So it's got new, new, new pickup shoes already on it. And then uh, uh, when he particularly ran it, um, he had put uh, one of those, uh, an extra strength magnet in it. And uh, he said that helped him with traction when he pulled out one and, and uh, put that extra one in there. So anyway, I got me a, a seller is what that is. So. Once I get this one cleaned up, then it'll be one of the ones that you'll be able to see on eBay on my seller's page, which I've listed the link to below. Thanks to U of M. Give me the, the, um, you know, obvious uh, forest for the trees suggestion of how about putting a link in the description so people can see it. So thank you again for that idea. U of M. Um, completely skip the, skip the brain cell until you said that. And I was like, well, Hey, that's just brilliant. Bluntly obvious. And so since this one is supposed to be a runner, let's, Oh, all right, there we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Just like he said. Cool. So, got a good runner. I'll clean it up and she'll be up for sale. Cool. Got me a little shipping case to do one when I sell now, too. So. I'm guessing, judging on the size of the boxes, that uh, it's safe to say that I can put away the little track and just show the cars one more time because I don't think the, any of those are small enough to be individual cars. So these are the two individual cars that we got tonight. I got a Courtney Force Mustang brand source 
Top Fuel Funny Car, and then the uh, SVO uh, number one 79 Mustang uh, Tyco. And it's on a hollowed out HP7 chassis, but I have several. So all I got to do is just pop up those tires and wheels and snap in my new ones, and we're good to go. So um, I'm loving the way this is starting so far. All right. Yeah, no, Don, that doesn't work. <laughs> but but kind of like me painting my cars when I was younger and thinking that that looked cool or using the automotive Bondo on that charger to try to sloop the nose down. What we think of as kids would be cool, and then we realize when we get older, not so much. Yeah, so. Ultra 5 chassis. That uh, uh, U of M, the only Ultra 5 that I have is that uh, one that uh, was in the cube. That's literally the only one that I have. And judging on the size of this box, I have ordered some new stuff. So new cars, carded cars. So I'm guessing this is a carded cars. From the house of cars, if anybody was wondering. In uh, Ripon, California, like I said, I... I deal with vendors all over the world. You got to try to stretch that dollar so it pays to what I call expand your spider web. The more people you know in more places, the better your chances. All right, cool. All right, so I recognize him, and that's why I plugged him again, is because he's a obviously packs his stuff really well. He's super fast shipping and uh, great deals. So if you saw earlier, I already got the uh, one and the two. These are the uh, Supercon um, exclusives, the Snake and Mongoose exclusives. I already have a set of these, um, but he made me an offer that was better than the offer that I bought those others with. So I jumped on it and I got me another pair of them because, like I said, these are limited to, to 1,008. Um, so you can equate that to like the uh, Auto World version of a Pro Tinker exclusive a way of looking at it. And uh, they're just matte black. I'm trying to look at the, yeah, uh, well, trying to see the TV, see what you guys are seeing. To, yeah, there we go. That's a little better. But yeah, it looks like a shadow, but they're just matte black. And then the, the snake and the mongoose, the red and the, the gold tires. And like I said, cool looking cars. Um, these are a couple that, you know, you sit back and hold on to in 10 or 15 years, then these things will be worth a pretty penny. So these are what I call investment cars. Um, you can't get any better than limited production uh, straight from the factory. So now I've got two sets of them at a very good price. And uh, he does have more of these for sale on eBay um, at a really good price. Shipped to your door, I think, is 30 bucks per car, which is a good deal for those cars when they first came out people were getting 60 and 70 bucks and then the price just kept dropping 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 because so many new cars came out so all right well let's see i think it's safe to put the battery away for now oh, my leaning tower boxes fell over so let's get to the next smaller or the next biggest package and i'm guessing this is one of my my uh, track sets off to a good start when the box isn't sloshing around from one side to the other. They took the time to put fragile stickers all over it. Unlike the one that had the personal message on it last time. If you guys remember that, you know, it says, please take care of USPS. You're the best. And then they packed it for shit. Um, pardon my French, but that's just the way it was. And these people went the extra mile. I mean, they almost covered every single edge of this thing with tape. So kudos. This is the way you pack a track so far. I'm impressed. Like I said, if you've been keeping up with a lot of my look what Scott's got stuff and what I've been adding to the collection, um, I've been on a, a, a more active eye as, as what I'll say. is I don't purposely go out of my way to go searching for tracks, um, but if I happen to one catches my eye for the right price, then I'll click on it and look at it. And uh, so... That's where a lot of these tracks are coming from is the, the old 
hey, it's in my wheelhouse where uh, I think that's a good deal. I already have the cars and it doesn't have cars. So let's let's have the whole thing. You know, like I said, I'm just increasing the, the value of my collection whenever I have the cars that came with the original track set. So that's the way I look at it. Sell the whole thing. Uh, Good grief. Yeah, they get an A-plus on the, the packing, man. Oh. So if any of you guys, I, you can see by the smile on my face, I'm going to be happy to show this off. If, uh, um, I, you guys know I love my Tyco, but I also love my AFX. And if you remember uh, a few videos back, couldn't even tell you which one, um, I was fortunate enough to get that uh, Super D-plus track. Well... Scott scored again on the AFX. And if you remember, I said about that new Auto World set that they came out with, with that double figure eight, that's an old design that uh, has been around for forever. And there's a reason for that. Voila. Thunderball 500. And there's your twin eights. Pretty cool, 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 yo. And, and once again, if uh, those of us that are old enough to remember, the cars they show aren't always the cars that are in the box, which ironically, they do show you the cars that are in the box this time, but it doesn't even match the box art. I don't get it, but I don't care. Let's open this bad boy up. They actually uh, saran wrapped it really good, too. I'm impressed. Like I said, kudos to them. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you, Don. Oh yeah, no, trust me, Robert. I'm wanting to get a, get a, get a lot of stuff out on the track and uh, get that uh, new Viasu timing system upgrade stuff uh, up there and get it running and check it all out because I'm spent a lot of money on that timing system and and uh, I want to I want to put it to work. And right now, all I've been able to do is talk about it and look at it, and that doesn't do much for you. Cool, cool, cool. So. We'll start off now that I got the strand wrap off. There we go. There's what it looks like. Uh, and in case you couldn't tell, these are the cars that are coming with it. You're going to get your Ford Thunderbird and you're going to get your 300ZX. And if you remember, I already have both of those cars, but this is a complete set. So this has got everything. So once I open it up, we'll be able to see it all. And just like the other set, uh, Robert, you remember, that was a cool exploded view of the chassis. Well, we got it again on the back. Pretty cool. Good stuff. I'm trying to get a date on this bad boy, see what we got. Oh, I hear my camera. I'm sorry. I don't know what I did. I think it's a ghost in the machine. Piece of shit's what it is, but I don't know. Nothing on the outside. Let's see if we got some paperwork on the inside that'll tell us. Oh, here we go. Our good old standard hard styrofoam falling out of the box looks like they were kind enough to include some of the old guardrails and the new guardrails and pieces of guardrails <laughs> that's awesome that is so awesome oh, this crack me up so like hell get it out of the house throw it in the box because obviously, these don't go with this set. I mean, they even show them orange on here. So these orange ones are the legit. These uh, yellow ones look more like a Tyco version to me. There's even more of them broken up in here. So this is what we're looking at. This is when you could actually put your track back in the box, and then uh, the hardest part was cleaning up this uh, foam crap. Let's see. We got paperwork. Let's see what we got. A little damaged, but still there. Surely there's a date on there somewhere. It's 90s. It's got to be in the 90s. I'm just wanting to get an exact year. Uh, 
Anybody else have one of these tracks that knows? Oh, thank you, Ryburn. Yeah. Oh, yellow is the early FX. Okay, thank you, U of M. Am I going to put this one up? No, I'm not going to put this one up. Uh, this is a. Uh, I'm going to take the cars out of it, and then uh, it'll just it'll be added to my collection of uh, tracks. I've already uh, got enough AFX track that I don't need to use this older stuff. Um, I'll, I'll get the exact date on this, and I'll, I'll give us an update. And apparently, I do need my piece of track back, so let's take off the other cars. And the extra bonus magnet that I got with my car. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got two dot Super G Plus chassis. There's our Thunderbird. And here's our number 57 Nissan. And that white crap gets everywhere. So the cars are in, in really good shape. Yeah, they can clean up really nice. Now I told I, I got my, I put away my battery too soon too. We gotta we gotta make sure they run. Oh oh, not looking good. Well, sometimes these older ones. Sometimes you gotta give them some encouragement. Oh, let's try. I think with some oil, I can get this bad boy to run again. It, it, here, it, it's just barely, yeah, it's running, but it needs help. But hey, it's, it's a runner. <laughs> just, it's, it's a, it's a turtle because it's not going to be very fast. Let's see about this one. Oh, here we go. Now this, there we go. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. I'm happy. I'm just going to leave these out because I'll uh, watch my show tonight and notice these things up. But there we go. Two Super G Plus cars from the Thunderball 500 set. It's only 13 feet of track, a double figure eight. Like I said, love those 300s. Already have one. So already have that car. Um, but it's the whole idea of getting the set and getting it for the price that I got it for that you couldn't even buy those cars individually together. So. Um, once again, it was a good buy. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I know it was less than 60 bucks, 60, 65 bucks. So I think it was a good investment. Uh, well, here, let's just find out. I believe these are clip cars, I believe, uh, Don. But let's, yep, clip cars. Is that is that showing up? Yeah, there's a there's a clip there. So, yeah, I've got one of these Super G Plus cars that's missing the clip that I, I was packing away. So you can buy those clips if you need to. So, yeah, both of them are this way. Good question. I'm sure somebody else had, might, might, might have had that very same question. So, yeah, they even got the gold rims like they're supposed to have and everything. So someone didn't modify them. And obviously, they both still run. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. So uh two cars some scenery and a complete man that's really bugging me that i can't find a date on this thing anywhere boy that white crap is going everywhere too 1990 there it is right in front of my face so this bad boy is 33 years old 32 years old going to be 33 years old so pretty cool i mean boxes could be in better shape, but we all know when you open them up and they're glued on this one side, you know, it's a 50-50 shot if you're going to have it do what it did there. So all in all, considering it's over 30 years old and really good shape. But I'm going to worry about putting those bad boys back together later. That way I can just get that back in the box and we can go look at this other big box, which I'm sure based on, oops, sorry, I heard it clicking. Oh, man, see that white nastiness in there? Yep. Yep, that's going to be fun to back him up later. Cool. Well, 
I can't blame can't blame the people I bought it from for AFX's thirty year old foam disintegrating when I touched it. Jeez, oh Pete. That other wrapping paper's opened up down there. I'm not just sweeping this off in my floor, just so you know. The the paper that it was wrapped in is down there and it's opened up. So it's like acting like a big catch-all for me. Good grief. Yeah, 1990, Robert. Yep, you're right. Um, and after I open this up, um, like I told uh, Robert in the comments last night, he just missed out on the live feed um, that would show the different sizes of the cars. So after I get done showing this, whichever race sets in here because i've got a couple of them on order so whichever one it is um then i'll i'll dig those out and we'll look at those three different sizes for you And I didn't order this from Prime. This didn't come from Amazon. Well, like it's like one of those old-time Christmas boxes, you know, when your parents or your grandparents used to say, "Well, don't judge what the box is; it's what's inside the box." This is a great start. And not only the, is what I'm seeing there, but when I peel this away, see what's underneath it? Bubble wrap surrounding the whole track set. So awesome job. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I am smiling again. Boy, this has been a kick-ass look what Scott's got. It's a great way to start tonight. I'm just saying, to, you know, because I'm still going to pack away some cars too, but got another, got another track set, obviously, like I just said. But here we have the race to save Gotham City. And this one is brand new. Never open, still sealed. And if you guys remember, I recently got that car, that tumbler. And then it just so happens that I got this whole race set for half as much as I paid for that one car. So now I'm going to sell that damn one car and pay for the other half of this race set. So, yeah. Just your standard figure eight, like I mentioned, comes with the, I don't even have to open it to tell you, it comes with a nine inch and a six inch and one 15 inch squeeze track. And then you can see the cardboard stuff that they add right there. Comes with your police car and your tumbler. And that's the back side of the box. And this is the front side of the box. Batman begins. Pretty cool. Like I said, for the price, um, yeah. One of those things that uh, you can never go wrong if you're a collector and you're trying to collect stuff and it's Batman. And if you guys have followed me, I did a whole video on my Batman car. So I like Batman. Um, so this to me is a natural fit for me to purchase. If you think it's kind of crazy, like I said, um, I don't necessarily just buy cars to race or to look at. Uh, sometimes I buy stuff from the heart. And uh, this is just one of those things that was purchased from the heart. It was, there was no intentions to, to open it up and sell anything out of it or make any money on it. It's just uh, one of those things that I wanted to have um, because of the Batman and the unique vehicles that came with it. And I'm trying to find a date on here so we can, 2005 is when this bad boy was released. So it's 18 years old. So if you've been following along, this will be my uh, third Hot Wheels electric racing set that I've purchased here in the last uh, two months that is brand new sealed in the box and uh, paid $90 or less for. Uh, so those deals do pop up every so often and you just got to grow if they're out there if you're interested. Uh, like I said, it's the, it's the three things, you know, yeah, you, you got you to gotta have the money is the main one, though. And uh, so, like I said, I'd sold some cars, was able to buy some stuff. And this is one of those things that I bought just for me, myself, and I, just to have for my collection. So pretty cool. Like I said, I like that. I like my Batman. 
that's a that's a good way to start. Uh, I'm liking I'm liking tonight's haul for sure. So we'll, we'll we'll do a little quick summary and then I'll show Mr. Fish the side uh, size differences of the uh, three uh, types of manufacturers F1 Indy cars. Oh. There we go. All right, so we started off tonight with the scenery, little detachable grass bushes, thirty of them. Just to add to the diorama for the track, like I said, some cool stuff there. Got the uh, Mustang that uh, came with a hollow HP7 chassis. Like I said, no big deal. I uh, got a better deal on this car because of that, and uh, I've got my own chassis, so I'm still going to have less in it after I add my chassis to it than if you were to buy one that was running, so that was the whole goal there. Um, got me a, a Courtney Force a brand source. Ford Mustang, and uh, the gentleman I bought it from, he told me um, that he was going to do it, and he did it, and he put brand new shoes on it for me because it's a runner. It wasn't a shelf queen, and uh, he uh, included his uh, high-powered magnet that he took out the two factory auto worlds and just put this one in, and he said it ran better. So we'll, we'll check that out. And then... Over here, we got the 1990 Thunderball AFX set that came with the Thunderbird and the 300ZX, as you can see there. And we already spun them up on the battery. We know they both run. We just know that the, the 300 is going to need a little help. Uh, it was a little lagging. Um, got two more of the Supercon exclusive uh, Snake and Mongoose, uh, one of only 1,008 of these that were made. So now I have four, two of each. And like I said, so two will be on display. These two will go into a box wrapped up nice and neat and probably won't see the light of day for a long time. <laughs> Cause like I said, those are like some of my GT forties that I bought, um, six years ago. Uh, they, they just, they got wrapped up. And, uh, so they're just like new, like when I got them. So that's probably what's going to happen to both of these bad boys. I wish they would number these so you would know which one you had, but they don't. It's all good. And then last but not least, we had what I just got through showing off, which was the Hot Wheels Electric Racing Race to Save Gotham City from the Batman Begins movie. And it comes with that tumbler that we saw that I got earlier. Um, one of my look what Scott's got. And then the, the police car. And that's still sealed brand new so that one's not going to get opened up so um a pretty kick-ass haul for a monday if i do say so myself uh that that's definitely worth waiting the uh, weekend for um had a pretty good haul on a saturday too after uh waiting on all that stuff to come in so got got some really cool stuff to add to the collection got a car to sell um got some stuff to pack away as a uh, uh, future sellers down the road and then like I said these the two track sets were stuff to add to my my personal collection of uh, tracks and cars and that one was just a like I said a purchase from the heart because I like Batman oh really okay Robert no I haven't seen that but I'll have to check that out um on this one here it was the 1990 uh U of M I'm sorry I, I don't know if I mentioned that Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. See, it's my understanding, and someone please correct me if I'm wrong, Don, that uh, um, the the stock cars and the wider body cars had to have this clip on them. And if uh, it was an indie type body, then it didn't. It was a different clip that held down over the motor. But someone that knows the... Uh, the Super G Plus uh, history um, better than I do would have to answer that question. But that was my understanding. And if I'm wrong, please someone tell me now or leave it in the comments because uh, I'm not saying that I know for sure, but that's just my guess based on the way they mount on the chest. On the other, if I hadn't packed the others away, I'd just get one out and we'd look at it. But unfortunately, those are already packed up and in the storage. 
you know, been packing up stuff and then putting it in another spot so that when I go to move, it's not just a mad rush to get out of here. Doing a little bit at a, at a time and then moving my garage out to my parents' farm, uh, basically. So every all my tools and jacks and yeah, everything that was in my garage is basically out there in a couple of their uh, horse stalls right now. So cool. All right. So I told Mr. Fish that I would get out the three versions of the F1 cars to show the size differences. So let me clear off. We'll just put those back there because we're going to be wrapping carded cars tonight. I'll be sure to put that magnet with that bad boy because I want to try that out. Kick that box out of the way. And here's the micro scale electrics car that we'll be uh, comparing with. And let me get the Tyco. And I hear it clicking. I'm sorry. And what better car than to get the set car from the Infinity Raceway that I had out the other night because I just. The other night while I was doing laundry, I noticed it up. So now he's, he's all nice and shiny. Even though he's missing his shoes, he's all nice and shiny. He's going to be bubble wrapped and hauled off. So let's get these out here on this track and show the differences. And I went with the modern Tyco versus the older Tyco because that'd be a more accurate representation because they did get bigger. And that's what's cool about these uh, micro scale electrics cars is uh, they include uh, extra braids. Let's see if I can do it without dumping it. An extra guide pin, extra braids, and uh, two new sets of tires are included with each car. And if you guys remember, this is the Peugeot Bitten and Hisses versions of all those that you saw that I had the Tyco versions on. So that's why I got this one. No clip on F1 or Indy. Okay, yep. See, that's what I thought. Okay, so I was right. Hey, cool. Thanks. So even a, even a blind squirrel gets an acorn every once in a while, guys. <laughs> and I'm that proverbial blind squirrel. So here we go. I'll put the uh, micro scale electrics up against the AFX first. And you can see they're significantly bigger. They're just a bigger car all the way around. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to get the angle right for you so you can see what I'm seeing. Uh, trying to get it where you're seeing the side view. Sorry. There we go. I know it's kind of whitened out because of the light underneath it, but you can see how much physically taller and bigger that car is. Even though the wheel bases are almost identical to a 1.7 chassis, the body itself is just huge. And then if you think it's big compared to an AFX, and look at the poor Tyco. I'm going to here and try to get it exactly lined up, but there you go. See how much smaller the Tyco is than that? I mean, it's even the shorter wheelbase, the width, the length, everything. And then here, I'll try to get that side shot again for you. Yeah, see, look at how much bigger that car is. It's just, it's Mongo. So that's whenever I, when people ask me what I talk about when I say that they take liberty on the HO scale, now you're seeing it because this is the scale electrics version of HO. And obviously this is way bigger than either one of those cars. And then both of these are called HO. And if you put both of these guys next to each other, you can see that they're similar. You know, they're close. Height, width, body, you know. But then you throw this monster on here, and he just, he swallows them. So, yeah, you could run these on your track, but uh, they're big. Enhanced zoom. Um, uh, 
stockpile my my camera right now is um, I'm guessing because of all the clicking and the times that my dog has knocked it over or I've knocked it over um, it's on its last leg so uh, right now I just let it do its own thing and uh, Buster Buster my my guard dog trying to Billy bat be a Billy badass because he hears the neighbors talking oh no problem oh no I, no no hey man I'm sorry. No, I'm apologizing for my shit ass cameras. What I'm doing? Just a second. Let me let me go uh, get my little barking dog. Thinks he's a he's a badass when he's inside, but get him outside. Uh, okay, he shut up. All right. So I thought that was a, a good question, Robert, and so that's why I'd, I'd had no problem on on uh, showing all the differences here. Because uh, I'd known that. That's why I got that Benetton Ford that I put that uh, hush Mega G Plus chassis underneath. What's the matter with you, hush? Jeez. All right. So he he thinks he's done being a Billy badass. Bring those cards. Which which ones do you want to see? All of them or the I don't know. I'll listen for it to click. Here, let me get that other scale electrics out. I didn't hear it click, so maybe it'll actually do what it's supposed to do. Oh. Yeah, see, just in case you guys are wondering, that's that's how they run their cars, those little braids on the bottom. And until you spread them out, that's that's how they are. So, so basically, when you loop them in there, then you fray them out. But it didn't click, so I'm gonna get it up there. There we go. Yeah. Physically bigger car. All right. So got the demo out of the way. Yeah, James. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem, man. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm doing this for. Uh, thank you all, eleven, and thank you all for hitting the thumbs up without even me asking. So thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and harp on everybody to do it. I, I appreciate when you do. So let's let's what time is it? It's about twenty after eight. I haven't even been on an hour. So um, last night we left off in the corner. Um, back over here on this other side, I'm sorry, is where we started and we came back over to the corner where the GT40s were and then the GT40s came over to this corner to where the Hot Wheels Electric Racing are. So what I would like to do tonight as far as packing goes is situate the camera to either from like the, the TV over and the door on the other side of the door or the uh, two pack section and the stuff that I can reach that's over here on that, and the, on that far corner. And then tomorrow, um, before I go live, I'm going to reposition the table so I can get back to those other sections. So I can go back above the TV on that wall and I can go back over here. So did uh, you guys have a preference on which you want you wanted to see tonight? Um, I, I do know I've got a couple of things if the Postal Service delivers them for a, a look what Scott's got tomorrow. Um, nothing like what we got tonight. So I was thinking to do the, uh, the one that was going to take more time uh, tomorrow night and do the, the smaller one tonight. Um, but like I told you guys, uh, it's your choice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin the camera around and show you the ones that I'm talking about. And then you guys just tell me A or B or one or two. So I'll turn it over to number one first and here in the corner. And then once I look at the TV and make sure that you guys can see it well enough, then I'll turn it to this section over here. And like I said, there are cars where this is edge is right here. There's cars all the way up and down that side of that wall to, to doubled up. So anyway, let, let me do that. And then we can get started on the packing stuff. 
Um, well, here, let me spin it around. Let's, we'll just show you real quick. Uh, so there's the mess table right now. Sorry, you're seeing an earthquake, but. Okay, so this is the, the one corner that I'm always looking at, basically. Try to get away from the TV. So this is the one I'm probably going to save for last. This one right here, because that's this that goes all the way up to the wall or through the ceiling. I'm sorry, here is reposition it some more. There we go. That's better. So this corner over here on this wall will be one. And then the, behind the TV, starting on that wall over, will be another night. So tonight, what I'm looking at is these right here. Those either above and as far over as I can reach above the, the window or rotate, I'm trying to dodge my dog again. Of course, she's right underneath my feet. And okay, so that's kind of where I was sitting and get away from the TV so it doesn't mirror out. So right above the door, coming down the side of the door and then over here in front of the where the TV ends to where I'd have to try to go over the TV. So you guys can tell me either the far corner here or you want to start above the door, around the door and up in there. So I'll point, I'll point it at the, uh, the wall here and let you guys, uh, that way I can sit down and read and look and, Sorry about all the shaking. That's the only way I know to show you guys. Oh, thank you, James. Oh, thank you, Robert. Yeah, you, um, well, here. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, move the computer off of the, the track area and try not to uh, dump the mess of guardrails that I've just put over the little camera thing, and I can show you the mess that has turned into the table of collection of stuff now because of all the moving. But let's see here. So yeah, you can you can see it's a hot mess right now. And this is the uh, main section. The, like I said, the L is where my card table is, but uh, these are the uh, Viper. Uh, these things right here are the Viper things that I added uh, for the barriers to keep the cars from flying off, as you can see. And then I added those little, little crash barrier things in there. And then along with the grass and stuff like that in the corner. And then basically the other tables, you'll be coming, you'll run, run up the hill. So my track runs this way, circles around and comes down and around and goes around the bend. So flat and then it starts banking right there and it banks all the way around. And I've got the back corner back there is banked at like 38 degrees. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen those uh, stockpile. I love that you do that. Okay, so um, Ryburn said, let's do what's easy for me. So what's easy for me is the stuff that's already over here in this little corner. So let me set that up. Thank you for letting me do the what's easiest. And I'll get it to where you guys can see what I'm pulling off the wall. Let me do. There we go. That's pretty good. All right.
Got my box over here. But I got my Novus with me here. So. Get started. All right. These are venerable uh, anniversary edition stock cars. I'm seeing how the camera angle is, but I'm having to stretch across my track here. But you can see this one's the blue 30 Pontiac Grand Prix anniversary. This is the red 40th anniversary Pontiac Grand Prix. Uh, they only made 10,000 each of each of these cars which sounds crazy compared to what I just showed um, of only being a thousand and eight. But you got to remember, uh, this was in a different time whenever this stuff was bigger and more global. So um, they, you know, 10,000 was nothing for Mattel and Hot Wheels to do. So pretty cool. And if you remember, I uh, had a whole brand new set of three of these that uh, I'm going to use for the uh, championship racing of the uh, winners of my uh, stock car classes so those are the ones i'm going to show a little project on max now the uh, tyco 440 x2 chassis so pretty cool cars i like the, i like that chrome look and sorry my computer is like way over there in the corner so i'm just trying to watch and see if it flickers up and down to see if buddy, somebody's saying something so i apologize if i don't answer really quickly it's not i'm like i'm ignoring you it's just <laughs> uh, i don't even know if i was younger my good eyes would be able to see that far away but yeah sorry i'm off camera here there we go tell you what you don't need to look at the snake so much let's do this Yeah, there we go. Now, now I'm at least in the picture. Like I said, I'm, I have to wait to see what you guys are saying. That way, you just don't hear some random voice in the background talking. Oh, forgot my wrapping paper. Yes, those uh, TCRs. Yeah, um, those are good for customizing. In fact. I'm standing there and you guys are talking about them. Got me a three pack from that vendor overseas. And then I showed you, I've got one of them that uh, somebody converted with an HP seven chassis and made it a runner and put an led light in it. So the red lights up top light up. And I thought that was a great idea. So I bought these to either save because they are factory sealed or, you know, play with them, make some runners out of them. Let me get my high dollar wrapping out here. And you can usually pick up those TCR chassis uh, cars really cheap because nobody, there's not a high demand for them. I'll put it that way. Yes, you're right, uh, Stockpile Hobbies. Uh, um, I, I buy a lot of stuff from him. If yeah, if uh, if you go to his website, it's definitely cheaper than buying on eBay. Just like it is with me. Uh, nobody wants to pay those stupid eBay fees. I mean, they even charge you a fee to ship. <laughs> they get their finger in every piece of the pie. And then here's the uh, gold edition of those Pontiac. Grand Prix. Like I said, those are good looking cars. I mean, they'll be easy to see going around the track and as fast as I plan on making them, that's going to be a good thing. And then here we have our more standard, what I would call Mark Martin Taurus. It's the one that you usually find. In fact, I got one of these for sale. Uh, it'll be for sale on eBay again tomorrow night whenever all my new listings go up. Um, these are pretty common. The one I showed last night is the one that's not so common. And uh, that's why it's getting more money. But I do have each versions of these cars. So if anybody's interested, let me know. 
obviously this one's going to be cheaper than the other one because you can still buy these. I think even ProTinker has these still for sale. Um, like I said, these hadn't been, uh, they didn't get rained on with that popcorn stuff like the last, last like the ones did last night from my hat hitting them. So they're cleaning up a lot quicker. And then as I take these back over to the box over here, then that's when I'll look at the computer and try to read comments. Like I said, I, there's no way I can read them from where I'm at. And someone's knocking on my window, so I'm guessing I have company. Yeah. Okay, I hear you. Just a second. I'm doing a live feed. I don't know who's there, but... Oh, no, no, no problem. Uh, just a second, guys. I have to go answer my front door, and I'll let somebody in, and I'll be right back. So stare at the wall for a second, chat amongst yourselves, and I'll be right back. Sorry about that. All that beeping. We here. We keep hearing on my phone. And apparently, it was him trying to text me that he was here. Yep. Sorry about that. And here, while I'm here, I'm going to mute the, make it buzz. All right. So, just got through putting those two away. Obviously, I'll have to reposition. But here's the uh, McDonald's car that I mentioned that they only made two of the McDonald's cars. And this is the non drive through version. So this is not the set version or the one that comes with the uh, cars and crew. So, but it's still pretty desirable. I think, you know, 50, 60 bucks is what you find them for on eBay right now. And used, they can go for 30 or 35. So, but they're a good looking cars who hadn't eaten at McDonald's at some point in time in their life. So that's pretty cool to have. And then uh, we have our standard old, uh, there's a bajillion of them made. They have no value whatsoever because there's so many of them, uh, standard uh, Kyle Petty, Hot Wheels, Pontiac. Oh, yeah. So wipe these off and we'll get them wrapped up and boxed away. Yeah, ironically, one of the guys that races with us showed up. I wouldn't expect any, but it's always good to have company. Make him help me move. Yeah. Let me see how far behind I am on the comments here. Yes, Don, I agree. Mark Martin is a must run in the next one. Soccer Central. Yes, Robert, I agree also. That's a, they had they bought up a bunch of old warehouses of stuff. Oh, thank you, James. Uh, hey Jack. Hey Sean. Is tonight your race night? I wish. Um, believe it or not. Uh, guys, I was ready to show the wiring because I've literally got this whole table's mounted now. Um, every Everything that I showed you earlier is actually attached to the track. The power leads, there's one set here, there's another set right there. Um, it was ready for power, and I was literally going to show you how I've wired up because I have the, I mean, when I say I was ready to show you, here's the power supply right here. It's literally sitting right over here next to where I was plugging into the wires to test the power on the track. And I was going to show a car being able to run from, you know, basically on the parts that were plugged in. So that's how close I was to having a race night until all of this bullshit moving stuff took over. 
But it's going to turn out to be better for me in the end. So, you know. We will, I will be showing race nights live, though. Because we have some pretty good races. All right, we'll start over here. I don't need my milk crate anymore, so I'm going to move it out of the way. If you're going to use milk crate, make sure it's OSHA approved. <laughs> All right. Going to the super, dope, super duper double loopers. And uh, if Mike's on here, he sees one of his cars because he bought one of these from me. He bought the one of the cars we're going to see next. But here, once again, uh, if you followed along with the packing show in one of the cases you saw that I had one of these that uh, was uh, brand new out of the uh, box or out of the coffin, as one of my uh, subscribers calls it. And uh, um, the vendor included an LED light with it that uh, all I've got to do is solder on and I could have a runner. And this is another 300 ZX and that's that's where that one came from. And so that was the intent to, to make it a runner since I had this one on the wall. So whenever I get around to racing my 300s then then we'll, we'll see that orange one that I have that looks like this out on the track. And then here's one that I don't know if a lot of people have seen, but uh, uh, the Lamborghinis aren't really all that, what I would call that collectible. There's not really a lot of them that have a high uh, collector value rating, but this is one of them. Um, and it's because of the pink and the accents, uh, it, you know, pink Lamborghini, <laughs> Countach. So that's odd all in its own, but uh, yeah, 1991. So this thing's, you know, 31 years, 32 years old. So. Yeah, that's one that maybe not a lot of people have seen. Give these a quick wipe. Like I said, once you put Novus on these guys and clean them, then it's just basically just a little light swipe with your duster, and they're slick and ready to go again. I'm sold on the Novus. Any of you guys, uh, I almost, I bought, I missed out on, I was trying to buy one of these super duper double looper track sets just so I could have one for all the cars that I got. And it, like I said, you know, I draw my line in the sand and when it goes above that line, then I don't buy. And, and uh, so I almost had one, but you know, almost or like candies and nuts. read the comments while I'm over here. Buy pink and hide it. <laughs> Redline pink hot wheels. Yeah, Cliff. Yeah. Yes, you can, Ryburn. Yes. Um, I've got one of them that came over one day by accident. Just happened to uh, be dropping by because he was by in the neighborhood and uh, we were loading up and he's like, oh, oh, you're moving? He goes, yeah, well, I got something to do. I'll be right back. Haven't seen him since. So, yeah. I thought it was funny. So here we have two versions of the uh, Vaunted ZR1 Corvette. Like I said, I don't hate, even though I'm a Mustang guy. This is the one that Mike bought from me. I had an extra one, and he bought it. It was, In fact, it was listed on one of my buy before Evil Days, and that's where he saw it and got it. And then here we have the uh, the lime yellow, I guess you would call it, version of it. So once again, these are all from the super duper double looper track collection. One of those unique little gimmicky things that they were trying to do to, you know, draw some excitement in. Does anybody out there have one of these super duper double looper tracks? Oh, my, my attack dog is going to get, get him now. She just now figured out he came in the house. Yeah. He'd been in here for five minutes. See, I'd be dead if a burglar, you know, amazing. And, she, and that was the German Shepherd. She's supposed to be the guard dog. The little dog was the one barking earlier. Oh, well. kitchen. 
where the drone's at. Get them, yeah. Oh, wow. Stockpile. Yeah, you've, you've owned a lot of nice cars, man. I, I saw the video with the... Uh, or, or I don't know if it was the video you talk, we were talking about it, but with the bike, well, I've seen the video with the biker. I, I couldn't afford the attorney's fees if I owned that car. All right. Like I said, we're going to save the two packs. So here's the vaunted TCR jam car Mustang. I think I paid... $20 to my door for this thing brand new. Like I said, because people just really don't want them. And uh, just because they're not a high demand. Then. But it was a Mustang. It was new in the package. Yeah. You know. You got to do what you got to do. And since those next two i do have another version of the another one of the series of these uh classic editions this one here is the uh, dodge charger from that series um there's six cars in that series and i've got three of them and I've got number four on the way. When it gets here, we'll all see it together because it'll be part of a look what Scott's got. Um, and then I'll just be down to two. For this particular series. Uh-oh. Ran out of wrapping. Gonna have to get another roll just a second. Don't think I've got to worry about running out now. All right. And these next two you can see I'm looking at the camera these are the, the feature cars and that's the ones that they call the ones that are on the package so I got the two pack features and then I got the each individual with the things too so I'm trying to go full circle I'm trying to collect all of them like I said if you're gonna go go for it go big or go home And uh, I did an actual little video on all three of these cars on collectability at one point in time. It's hard to believe I've done over 40 videos this year. I, I didn't start my channel till January. But these live streams and moving have really picked up the pace and helped my subscriptions too. So, and uh grown my knowledge i'm learning a lot from the people that are watching me do this so it's been very beneficial all the way around for me to do this not only am i getting to pack my stuff but i'm getting to learn some things along the way and every day is that your feet touch the ground's a good day and if you can learn something it's a better day
Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when uh, my parents saw the room for the first time, their jaws literally, literally dropped. They, they knew that I was doing this with slot cars, uh, but they had no clue that I had gone right off the deep end. And then uh, when I showed them my sales for the last couple of years and how I was able to afford this, then they understood that, uh, you know, like any business, if it's ran correctly, you can get a benefit out, out of it. And my benefit is not the money. It's the, well, it is, but the benefit is, is being able to reinvest into my collection. And so, and then the other part of that is, is getting to show it to people that maybe not have seen some of the cars that I've been able to, fortunately been able to acquire. So, well, obviously I'm not going to go over the two pack. We just looked at them individually, but I, I, so I apologize, but I will show the backside of it in case anybody wanted to see it. Like I said, this is the way they do advertise. They used to do advertising all the time and they need to do it again. Put pictures of the cars and diagrams and stuff like that. You know, the pit kit, the cars, future, you know, uh, series. Get people excited about buying the next car. You know, Hot Wheels has been doing that for years and it seems to be working pretty good for them. Just saying. Sometimes you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And my little badass dog decided to jump in here and jump into my chair. So it doesn't look like I got a place to sit when we're all done here. Aren't dogs awesome? And here we have a couple of the California classics. You've uh, seen these before. But uh, just to reiterate some of the differences, there are two versions of each of these cars. These are the chrome versions, and the set versions are the ones that are painted silver. So silver is set, chrome is in the packages that you can buy out separately, or carded cars, as they're call, called. And then once again, it has the the I want to if you can see it, I'm going to try to get close to the camera. There's a car right there. You guys see that? Yeah, I'm looking at the TV. And yeah, see that? Advertisement for Dale Earnhardt's Wrangler. <laughs> what year was this made? 1991. So, pretty cool. If you can find that car, buy it. If you can afford it. Because most of the times I see that thing go for over 100 plus. So it was mainly uh, uh, more Tyco than anything, but we did have a few of the Hot Wheels electric racing. And I got something to inform people about for these next two. So I might as well pull them both down at the same time. So as you can see here, we have the uh, custom pickup truck in black and in blue. And then we have the gold and then the yellow uh, twin mills. What is, you would think that you would have them both covered, but believe it or not, if you're wanting to collect all versions of this uh, custom pickup truck, as they call it, and down here is a 1940 Ford pickup. So if you're wanting to collect all three versions of this truck, there's a set version of this blue truck that's a lighter blue, and it actually has its own part number. So if you are a collector, and you're trying to get all three of the only three versions of that truck that they made, then you're going to try to get this one here. And, and it's a set only truck and it's a lighter blue. So the bottom one's black. This is like a darker Royal, like the Hot Wheels blue with the petty stuff. And then the other one's uh, more of a sky lighter blue. So if you're a collector, there's your little collector tidbit. There's three of these trucks, three of them only. 
light blue one is the hard one to get because it only came in a set. So. Like I said, if there's something I know about them, then I'm going to share the knowledge. And if not, then I'll just kind of describe the cars like we did and go on. And I've seen that blue set truck a couple of times, but it's, it's hard to pick out without a, a reference, I'll put it that way. So we're down to our final two of these uh, Magnum two packs that I currently have on this side of the wall, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one up there and get it down since it's within reach right now. And then I'll pull the table out after we get done doing those other sections. And that way I can get back to the rest. Cause that, that little, those sections over there are gonna take a little bit. Here we have our classic uh, 57 Thunderbird and our 57 Chevy and uh, yellow and purple. And they actually put the cars on them that match. And these are uh, circa 1999, so they're 23 years old. And you can still find these on eBay, these twin, these exact same twin pack for like, uh, 50 to 60 bucks. And if you think about it, guys, that's 25 or $30 a car. It's a really good deal. So if you like those 57s and you like the Thunderbirds, it's better just to dive in and buy one of these than it is to spend 35 or 30 bucks and end up paying five or $10 extra for the very same car. I've got one of these I've just saved back just because, like I said, I, I think I got mine for like 45 bucks back in the day. Forty-five dollars. I mean, that's twenty-two fifty a car, and that's hard to beat. Like I said, it's not necessarily all the time the car. Maybe you want the chassis too. Just saying. I'm your thrifty HO slot car collector. All right, here's the last of the electric racing for the night. We have a 1960 Corvette and another 57 Thunderbird. Um, well, I will point out is what's unique about this Thunderbird is that it does have the uh, hood scoop on it. And then I'm going to tilt it to where hopefully it'll come out. Uh, let me see if I can get the angle right. But this, these versions of these cars have the original old Hot Wheels red line tires. And if you're um, older, like I am, or if you're a collector of Hot Wheels and you know that those older red line wheels are the most desirable and collectible Hot Wheels out there. Um, that's what they were mimicking right there. So they have the actual red line Hot Wheel type rims uh, on them, which I thought was a really cool touch to uh, tie the uh, die cast in with the slot car stuff. And uh, that's a good looking burgundy car and that scoop, like I said. And then that vet goes along with like some of those uh, hot rods that I had that, uh, you know, the venom and the stuff like that. So. Like I said, a couple of cool cars. Love those twin packs. See, and they're calling this 187 and not 164, so, you know. Hey, Sean. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, poor walls are naked. Oh, dude.
Cliff, you would not believe. It's like almost like when I walk into this place now, it's almost like blinding. I didn't realize how how much light those cars soaked up. I, I put away my OSHA approved milk crate too soon, and I got to use it to grab the last two pack of the night. Yeah, it's definitely getting brighter in here. And here's one I, I recently got. Uh, uh, well, I say recently, within the last three months. Wow, it's, it's crazy looking at that wall and bare like that again. Uh, but we have another couple of the twin pack vets, uh, the Magnum. Got a newer vet and an older vet. Silver and red. Can't go wrong if you're a classic Corvette guy or a new Corvette guy. Racing red and classic silver. Good looking cars. 35th anniversary. Yeah, I think these are uh, 97 is when this particular twin pack came out. Like I said, just a couple of good looking cars, guys. I, you know, I don't, I don't hate on another brand just because I love Ford. I appreciate anything that's fast and if it looks good. And uh, those look good and they're fast. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. put this one down and then I'll spin the camera around and we'll recap everything that I got tonight on the look what Scott's got and then uh, you'll be able to see a little bit in the background of what we're going to do tomorrow night Sorry, I didn't mean to scare everybody like that. I'm showing my mug that close. Right. Yeah, that's not a bad angle. Is that good for everybody? Hey, got 14 people here. Hey, Don, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for stopping. I appreciate it. Oh, wow. So I'm having to catch up now. I'm sorry. Oh, I have an echo now. Great. Is it, is it gone? Uh, or I don't want to keep rambling if I'm, I'm going to punish everybody for me talking. It's gone. The, the echo has gone. So I'm good now. Thank you, James. Like I said, they gave me all the bits of that. I think some of this stuff will be relegated to the diorama. All right, guys. If it is echoing, I apologize. I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Uh, first off, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that did uh, participate in uh, tonight's uh, live stream of the Look What Scott Got. Um, a little small packing of the uh, wall compared to what we have been doing. Uh, got to see some pretty cool cars. Got to learn a little bit of history on them. And then uh, um, I am going to just recap real quick for the people that may have just tuned in late that uh, maybe don't want to go back and watch the whole beginning of the video again. Um, but look what Scott's got. And I got uh, some scenery in today for the diorama around the track. Some little uh, detachable grass bushes. You know, like I said, they offered to them five dollars shipped to my door. That's that's kind of a good deal on those. So I just have to do that. My suggestion was is uh, if you're into doing diorama stuff on your racetrack, uh, check out a lot of the HO scale train videos on scenery and uh, you will get a lot of great ideas and tips on how to do stuff. And uh, no particular order. Got me another couple of these uh, um, limited edition thousand and eight of the uh, Supercon edition of the snake and mongoose funny cars 
like I said, these are a couple that are going to get uh, wiped down with Novus, wrapped up with toilet paper, put in a box, and they probably disappear for uh, 10 years. So, um, But we'll have two of them that we'll be able to see on the wall, but these particular two are going to get wrapped up. And then I'm going to take off the example cars here real quick. And I was able to get me a uh, harder to find a, a SVO Mustang 79 type of body with a hollow HP7 chassis, which is no big deal. Like I said, I've got two or three of those. I can throw that in. So the whole idea was getting this thing cheaper than you would be normally. The Tampo's in really good shape. There are a few scratches on the glass, but those will buff out with my Novus. The main thing is the Tampo. And I don't know. Yeah, it's showing up pretty good on the TV. You can see it. This thing's dead on. It's got a few little scuffs here on the front. But other than that, it's a good looking car. Then I got me a, a runner to sell again after I refurbish it. Uh, the Courtney Force brand source uh, Mustang Top Fuel Funny Car. Good looking car. And I'm not, I can't remember what series, but yeah, that's a that's a good looking runner. And like I said, I'll be, I'll clean this up and have it up for sale not too long. If someone's interested, contact me. Then I was able to uh, get two race sets and uh, the first one is a 1990 AFX Thunderball 500 that came with the uh, Thunderbird that you see there and the 350, uh, three, 300ZX, and they're both on two dot Super G Plus chassis. And we did find out they both run. And the track set's complete. That's what this little mess of guardrails is down here. They mod podged a bunch of stuff, which I don't care. Give me your extras. I can use this, loop these little bits and stuff for other things. You know, spray paint's a wonderful thing, plastic paint. So anyway, these are the cars that came with that track set. So that, that track set's 32 years old. Got it at a really good price. Cheaper than what you could buy the cars for individually. I'll put it that way. And to get the whole track set, so that's cool. And then last but not least, oh, well, better tilt that so it doesn't fall over. I got my Still sealed in the package, Race to Save Gotham City, uh, Hot Wheels Electric Racing Batman Begins set that comes with the Tumbler Batmobile that we saw that I got uh, a couple of weeks ago. And a look what Scott's got. Um, like I said, this is a brand new set, still sealed. Uh, we think we've said 2005. Yep, 2005. Classic figure eight, one nine inch, one six inch, one 15 inch squeeze track and six curves nine and a quarters and then your cardboard stuff and uh you'll notice the police car there that uh that's a unique police car only to the set and uh it only came in this set so the other one that i showed you was the camaro that had two versions this is not a camaro on it i don't know what the hell that's supposed to be but i'll look it up and, and let you guys know so Pretty cool to have one of those brand new in the package. You guys know I like the My Batman. So a really good night of uh, look what Scott's got. We got to pack away some really good looking cars. Um, I want to thank everybody that showed up. Like I said, I got more people with thumbs up than I got uh, people watching. Oh, yeah, no, not a problem. I thank you guys for showing up. Like I said, I still got to do it, whether there's nobody here or there's a thousand people here. Um, but it's just more fun if at least one person's here besides me to do it so we can see it. So um, like I kind of start every video, I'm going to kind of wrap this one up. It is uh, nine o'clock. That's what I was going for was trying to get an hour and a half to two hours in tonight. Still have people have time to catch Monday night football or do some something else before they had to call it an evening. And uh, that is if you are a current subscriber, I'm going to start with you guys first from now on, because without you, um, there's really no incentive for me to keep going. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you for uh, your continued uh, reaching out, watching me live and the suggestions and help and correct me when I'm wrong or pointing out something that I didn't know about. And that's why I started this channel was to gain my knowledge and, and just spread it out to everybody else so that we all got a lot smarter with the hobby. If you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please LSS, like, share, subscribe. Even if you don't want to hit the notification bell, please at least subscribe. Let's try to get this viewer, let's try to get it to 500 and uh, see how quickly we can do it. You know, we're, we're only like less than 148 people away from doing that. Uh, that shouldn't take too long. So let's try to get it out, get it out there. So if you are not a subscriber, please 
help us out to get to that 500. Just hit the you know, subscribe bell. It'll show up in your feeds. You can watch me when you want to. Or if you want to hit the ring the bell, then you'll be notified every time I do one of these live feeds and you can join in live and with the chat. And if you are watching later and you didn't get to join in live, please don't let that stop you from interacting because I do answer all the comments that everybody leaves. All you have to do is just leave it down below and then I will always answer within a day or two, um, if at all possible, unless uh, some uh, horrific life events keeping me from doing so. So please uh, help help some more, help support me. The sooner I can get the uh, channel to more subscribers and I actually start getting money from YouTube is the sooner I can start giving away, uh, you know, basically channel gifts for uh, loyalty members, you know, to people that have subscribed on a more consistent basis. It's right now between investing in my personal stuff and investing in moving and buying a house, uh, money is only coming in whenever I sell cars. And that's what I was able to buy all this stuff with. So personal money is being tied up in other places. So selling slot cars is what paid for everything we saw tonight. So thank you to everybody that has purchased in the past. And if you are interested, you can see those down below in the description tomorrow night when I relist all the new stuff weekly. And one last thing, I do want to throw a shout out to every single HO slot car creator that uh, I interact with on YouTube. And there's several of them that I don't have listed, but I have Dan with Slot Valley Racing listed below. I have Steve with Stockpile Hobbies. He was on here earlier tonight. Usually Dan is too, but uh, you know, like I said, I don't expect everybody to watch every feed all the time. I understand we all have lives. <laughs> um, Mark Slot Car Garage, uh, uh, Buckeye HO drag uh, slot car drag racing um, and then pro tinker toys is down there too. Please support everybody. The slot car guy. I forgot about him. Um, he just got, by the way, he just released a video today of a, a Japanese release uh, 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 AFX track set that uh, if you are a, a collector of AFX of any kind, you're going to want to check that out because it has a couple of the rarest Tommy turbo cars in that track set that you're ever going to see. And I'm not going to give it away. I'm going to make you watch the video. But on that note, once again, I do want to thank all of you that are sticking around. Robert, uh, Stockpile, there you are, man. James, Steve, thank you. James, Jack, good night. Robert, thank you again. Sean, Ryburn, you all have a good evening. Thank you again. We'll do it about the same time tomorrow night. And we'll start off with a smaller version of Look What Scott's Got. And then we'll do this other section of the wall over here. And then on Wednesday, uh, we'll do the other Tyco, and I'm going to save the shelves with the Pro Tinker um, exclusives and all the other Carpedies and stuff like that. I'm going to save that one for last, and then we'll probably do that one on the uh, night after the race night. So that way it'll kind of tie in with their race night, showing their exclusives. So everybody, thank you again for showing up tonight. Support the people that support the hobby and make new uh, channels, uh, content below with videos. Support their channels in my uh, description below. Have a good evening. Light some sparks and melt some plastic, guys. Until tomorrow night, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>